you know, anytime it's a rivalry game, you come in with extra energy. And one of the best parts of tonight was that both teams had the energy. Um, I think that was one of the best games I've been able to be a part of. It's such a battle from first pitch to last pitch. Um, and so for us to come in, you know, and, and with teenagers, there's just, there can be chirping on social media and, you know, different things back and forth. And so it was just a little extra emphasis with this, um, you know, and, and particularly for uh, Taylor Fethless, one of my seniors. She's been in a lot of work and it's been a bit since we've managed to beat East. Um, lost to them both a couple times, uh, didn't play them last year. Um, so I know for her particularly, and, and for me, I came out as a coach her freshman year. Um, it just feels extra special. You know, the crowd tonight, that was the biggest crowd I've ever seen at a softball game. Um, and so there's the atmosphere, it just adds to a rivalry and, and it makes the win so much better just to play in this. I mean, no matter who you're playing, if you are if you can start the season with a win, that puts you ahead, all right? To be able to come out first game, go 1-0, and you're already in the win column. It's a, it's a sigh of relief for a lot of the girls, for coaches as well. Um, and so, yeah, I think particularly again, like I said, with the energy tonight, um, and, and the emotions with that. Um, and that was what we talked about in the huddle is this is, we started here, we've set the bar, and now we just need to keep it going to the top and take it as far as we can, hopefully to state. Hmm. And that's kind of, that's our goal. And I think the, if with the energy we have here tonight, absolutely that can be achieved. Just amazing. Yeah, I mean, her performance tonight was phenomenal. Um, both pitchers came out, you know, the first couple innings took forever. And I think both sets of coaches were kind of sitting in like, shoot this might be this is gonna be a battle this might take a while we have to throw others in <clears throat> and i think um really kind of for aubrey she had her uh, her change up started working she has one of the nastiest change ups i've seen um, and her change up started to work in and we started to get in the groove um and as coaches we kind of started to get in the groove with knowing what pitches to call and looking at the batters um <clears throat> and then once once obs got a couple runs on the board she came out with that uh, she came out of the dugout, I handed her the ball, she had a smile on her face, she's like, yep, we're good. And I could just see that she was ready to go. Um, so, and then she showed it. That was that was the best performance, absolutely. Um, yeah, Bree, you know, had a healthy baby boy last week, and so we're all thrilled. Um, and I'm sure all the girls are very excited to just maybe get some baby snuggles and all those fun things. Um, you know, I, with Bree going out last year, we kind of had to scramble. I've, I, you know, shifted and kind of just have to have the mindset of just go with it and kind of roll with it. and. Um, I think particularly this year because uh, my two seniors, Taylor and Jill, um, they're, you know, they're a special couple uh, of players. Uh, my juniors as well. Um, it's just a fantastic class. We've, we've been through a lot. I was with them when they came in and kind of been there through. And just to have the opportunity to coach them and, and see their success, it just, that just fills my cup, fills me with joy. Um, <clears throat> a lot of nerves, hmm. but... Now that we've got the first one under the belt, I think it's just going to be great and I'm just excited to coach.